Hello, my name is Guadalupe Martinez, or I also go by Lupita. I am 19 years old and I was born and raised in Newport. Living here my whole life has been a pleasure, but I am certainly ready to move forward and further my education elsewhere. I'm still on the fence where to go, but regardless, I'm excited for my future endeavors. In regard to the assignment, the first item I have picked to represent my past is a book. It is part of the Diary Wimpy Kid series called Dog Days by Jeff Kinney. See, when I was younger, books were a representation of something I didn't like, which is reading. It wasn't necessarily because I hated books, but it was rather that they represented the thing I was very bad at, which is reading and spelling. Luckily for me though, when I got to middle school, my school librarian talked about books the way I felt about movies and music, and convinced me to give them another try. She would suggest books with long chapters that did not pique my interest, but it wasn't until she mentioned this series that I was hooked. The format was fun and had doodles, which made it fun to look at and to read. After that moment, I stopped generalizing books as if they all shared the same bleakness, but rather an outlet to find new adventures and meet characters from galaxies far, far away. I slowly gave books a chance and moved on to the iconic Harry Potter, Percy Jackson series, and later Hung Games. Currently, my favorite book is not the Diary Wimpy Kid series, but if I'd have to choose between, if I'd have to choose, it'd be between Animal Farm by George Orwell or The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I'm also currently reading American Earth for my environmental literature class, which has been surprisingly good to read. I'm not used to reading old types of books, but they talk about nature in the sense that it's something that connects us all, which is always good. <laughs> all of these are great novels and I recommend them equally. Moving forward, the item that I have chosen to represent my present is a whisk. Although I like to bring my KitchenAid, I don't think my mom would appreciate that. Nonetheless, it's more of a presentation of baking rather than the actual utensil. Quarantine has been tough, and I haven't been able to do as much fun as I would have wanted, but it's been a reflective time that has made me curious to learn more. Baking has been an area I've always wanted to expand my knowledge on, but blame time for being the reason I don't do it. Now with all the time in the world, I have finally given in and become entranced in baking new recipes. Additionally, when baking, I feel like regardless of the outcome, the batter is always fun to lick, <laughs> especially out of the whisk. Finally, the item that I've chosen to represent my future is a bag. The item, this item has been in my life both in the past and current. But I see it as a transformative item that can hold different meanings. In the future, I'll carry a satchel, which is a type of bag, to hold important documents, or even a type of bag for when I have kids. Regardless, a bag has multiple purposes, and depending on what type you're holding on to, can hold different meanings. Currently, I don't have one, but pretending we were in times before COVID, I'd use it for books <laughs> and school. But I can't wait to see the items in my next, that my next bag holds. Thank you.